Okay, um, just to show you what we're trying to do, this is the uh, effect we're trying to get. Um, all right. Not too bad. All right, so just a, a few little changes from my uh, original file. All right, um, I've just created this point light, and I am just. I've just set it up to, to go behind my rocket and uh, just there. All right, and I'm just going to middle mouse button my point light and parent it with my rocket. All right, so that light will uh, always follow, uh, follow that around. Now, for my <laughs> particle, all right, if I go to my particle cloud, now under life incandescence, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to edit that again, and I'm just going to just change some of these settings around a bit. All right, I'm just going to give myself some more black, which will just give me more smoke. So if I can try to, and I can't get more uh, more space, I'm afraid. But basically, yet yeah, my my black, my spoke should be about halfway down. All right. Now next stage. What I'm going to do is to create in my nodes. I'm going to go down, not this fractal. I'm going to go and create a solid fractal. I'm just going to try to set everything up here. Again, it's just a bit hard when I'm in this type of uh, view here. All right, that's my work area. I've got my particle cloud here, my two ramps. All right. Ah, okay. So, interesting. All right, sorry, to get back to this. All right, I'm going to create one solid fractal and one stuco. All right, and I'm just going to bring these down to about here and down to about here. Okay, now I'm going to double click on my solid fractal and I'm just going to go drag go down to my color gain click on that make it an orange and make sure that I'm in my HSV hue saturation vibrance and I'm just going to increase that vibrance up to 2.5 all right, so that's going to give me um, this nice bright fire type look. All right, now, okay, now the next thing I need to do, try to get all of these together, is I'm going to select that solid fractal and all right, see if that does something. All right, I'm just going to use my middle mouse button all right so again solid fractal middle mouse button i'm going to click and drag that up oh no sorry that's wrong all right sorry i've got to go to my particle cloud and okay sorry click on my particle cloud go to my incandescence and select down here. Now I need to select my first color and now I'm going to click and drag on my solid fractal and click and drag over to the selected color. All right and you'll sort of notice that it's kind of gone a bit more uh, fiery. Okay next I'm going to use my stuco Make my first color black. 
shaker, I'll make that about 30. And I'm going, oops, click on my Stuco. Now I go back to my solid fractal, click and drag, and make my solid fractal the second color of that Stuco. All right. Now, what do I do with that Stuco? Okay, now that Stuco, let's go back to my ramp. Click on the second color, which was the orange. Now that Stuco, click and drag, that becomes my second color. All right. Can't really see much there, but it should make a bit of a difference. All right, and uh, that's uh, that should be about it. All right, so I'll try to. It's a bit hard to have a look at this in um, these type of settings, but if I just click there, and uh, if I do a render. Oh wow, that looks fantastic. Um, it should be uh, okay. And settings resolution gate. Oops, I'll just try and zoom up. All right, and let's have a look. All right, yeah, probably a little bit hard to see. I don't really have too much light there. But you can see I'm getting this nice brightness and this uh, this greyness coming through. All right, that's about it. Uh, I'll just grab the eye of the light. All right. Let's see how we go. All right. So there we go. And yep, a little bit, a uh, little bit better there. Just got to figure out how to turn this off and stop.